sniper here? Hi everyone, welcome back to Intuition, where we go behind the scenes of academia to figure out what students really care about. And today I'm your co-host Pauline, in my fourth year studying economics at UBC. And my name is Tristan, and I'm a recent graduate here at UBC. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. So before we get into today's episode, it's important to address the issue of mental health. So it's a very hard time around campus, and many students on top of finals are going through a lot of things personally. And it's important for us, no matter what we're going through, to help out our peers and to to address their concerns. We can't do a lot. Obviously, we're not mental health professionals. But if you see someone struggling or they appear Mm -hmm. to be struggling, it's good to just give them a sense of acknowledgement, you know, to lend out a hand and be like, is there anything that I can do to help? You know, you can't do much. You know, like I said, we're not specialists or professionals, but just to know and give your concern to someone else means a lot. Yeah. So that's what we need to do. Yeah. All right. So now back to the episode. So today we're going to be talking about our experiences or the experiences of alumni with post-grad life. And what that entails is we're going to basically have a discussion about is postgraduate life actually that different? So we're going to be involving two alum- UBC alumni mm-hmm. today, and we're just going to be talking to them about their experiences, the difficulties they faced, what they miss about undergraduate life. And yeah, as I said before, is it really that different from undergraduate life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the other day, Pauline and I were talking about Jumpstart, the first year program for incoming students at UBC. And we were thinking, too, wouldn't it be nice if we had a, a program, a similar orientation yeah. like that for graduating students? Yeah. And we could even call it like jump out or something yeah. like that, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And it would help us with the transition from university to the quote unquote real world. And for me, what I would love to take out of it personally would be the practical skills of finances and like how we can manage our money wisely and how yeah. we could uh you know like doing mm-hmm. taxes because I, you know to be honest I don't really know how to do my taxes properly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh having savings and because we like to travel you know we like to spend a little bit over our budget like yeah. just managing our money wisely yeah. so we could have a good structure once we have a good job or any job and yeah. we could just live off of that yeah. you know just knowing the basics Yeah, I think that's definitely really important, especially when you think about, you know, things like the Vancouver house prices, you Mm -hmm. know, and just just the ability to live in a city like this. A lot of things are expensive. Mm -hmm. So I think that's definitely a good point. It will be so good to know how to manage your finances and and like a, a program that can help you come up with a strategy for for doing that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that that would be really cool. I like that Mm, for me. What I would love to see out of this, um, orient, this make believe orientation (laughs) program Mm -hmm. is, you know, really how to apply your degree. So Mm -hmm. for me coming from an arts background or specifically economics background, I feel like my degree is quite like a lot of the courses were quite theoretically based. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's great to know where all these, you know, financial theories came from, you know, using models and things like that. But I think it would be so interesting, like, and more practical if I was able to understand how I can apply these theories into like the job market because essentially you know that's the majority of the reason why i'm getting a degree to be able to get a good job if we're Mm -hmm. you know really realistic so i think it'll be like what i would love to see in this jump out program would be like a way where i can see how my degree how people are with my degree are applying 
those skills in the job market i think that would that would be awesome like just having that in a program Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's definitely good yeah so i mean those are our wish lists from the jump out program Mm -hmm. um and with that we're gonna go into our interview uh with the two alumni guests Mm -hmm. brian and tammy Mm -hmm. and yeah we're gonna be talking to them about their experiences so we hope you guys enjoy thank you Okay, so we are live in the studio with two of our guests today for our episode, Mm -hmm. and they are UBC alumni back again to talk to us about what graduating life is like. So we'll let Brian um, introduce himself. Yeah, so my name is Brian. I graduated last May in 2017, and I studied uh, marketing in uh, Sauter, and currently I'm working full-time doing an e-commerce role at a company called CYC Design which owns two fashion companies called Wings and Horns and Raining Champ. Nice. Mm, Nice, nice. And we're also here with Tammy, and uh, we'll let Tammy introduce herself. Hi, my name is Tammy, and I graduated um, last May. Um, I majored in psychology, so I was in the Faculty of Arts. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at UBC studying interior design. Nice. Nice, Sorry, nice. intern design? Interior design. Interior design. <laughs> oh, yeah. no nice. way. I didn't yeah. know that UBC had that no. program. No, BCIT. Oh, BCIT. okay, okay. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming on the podcast today. Mm-hmm. And so what's, just to start things off, what's one thing that you miss about UBC, if anything at all? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I definitely miss the social aspect of mm. being mm. in school because... Uh, when you're working, you have the entire evening to yourself, but that's mm-hmm. when a lot of my friends who are still in university get to study right. at night and like they have other commitments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas I'm pretty much free all night. Right. So that's mm-hmm. kind of hard to balance because whenever yeah. I want to hang out, yeah. mm-hmm. not as many people want to hang out anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah. See, you graduated too soon, see? Yeah, maybe like a year or two too soon. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Timmy? I really miss um, the campus. Because we get a lot of space, mm-hmm. I think um, we're so <clears throat> we're so lucky to have a campus like that. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. BCIT is really small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Basically, you just see the same people all the time. Mm-hmm. But when you're here, you see different people. You get to know more different people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty much every day. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. you find it easier here at UBC to meet new people, or mm-hmm. in some ways, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I definitely also miss the campus a lot, which is right. why. I'm at UBC almost every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we use the yeah. lovely facilities. The you go to Rec Beach. Oh, yeah. okay. yeah. See, so. Brian hasn't really graduated yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just part-time working. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That kind of leads us into our next question or, mm-hmm. and what we're trying to kind of highlight with this mm-hmm. podcast, which is like, yeah, we say that, you know, grad grad life is, quite different to undergrad life Mm -hmm. and we've made this like bubble here at UBC where we work here you know Brian you worked at the learning commons Mm -hmm. gym you know you go to the gym your school here exactly you know all these things and we're in this bubble and then suddenly that bubble pops and you know you're out there in the quote-unquote real world Mm -hmm. so like what are is it really that different for you guys, like comparing undergrad to, you know, grad life? Mm-hmm. I would say, yeah, it's super mm-hmm. different because when I graduated uh, last summer mm-hmm. and then I moved downtown mm-hmm. when I was looking for a job, you're pretty much on your own mm-hmm. in a sense. Like, you on, obviously, you still have your friends to support you and everything, mm-hmm. and your family, but mm-hmm. it's up to you to find a job in the end mm-hmm. of the day. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a pretty big uh, mind shift, mm-hmm. um, mindset shift, mm-hmm. because UBC you all always have deadlines or like teachers telling you like I mean mm-hmm. profs telling you oh you need to do this and that, mm-hmm. but then once you're done, mm-hmm. it's just you in your room and you gotta figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. and yourself. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is that the same for you, Tammy? Um, definitely, it's really different. But like, mm-hmm. I'm back in school right now Mm -hmm. because um, I feel like my degree didn't really do much for me. Well, I learned a lot Mm -hmm. at Mm -hmm. the same time. I got a lot from it, especially like people skills and Mm -hmm. like um, what university is about, like finding yourself. But when you get out there, it's like, 
Mm-hmm. Well, there's no instructions anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. You're lost. I right. remember like like maybe like six months bef- uh, mm-hmm. before I graduated, mm-hmm. I was like on uh, Google trying to look for like like a new program or like mm-hmm. a new diploma that I wanted to do, mm-hmm. but I didn't know what like which one which school I wanted to go because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. basically you're pretty much like on your own like later even like before you graduate. There's like yeah. this like mindset you're like okay I'm mm. preparing for something yeah after that because I can't just wait till the last minute and be mm-hmm. like okay what do I do now I, I'm I'm out here yeah mm-hmm. you gotta plan ahead and yeah. try to see what you can do yeah so yeah. is that like one regret you had while in university not really making those steps to plan ahead or yeah mm. Mm. yeah 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 because like you know that's you know even including myself I'm in that position right now yeah. where I'm facing that transition mm-hmm. And the things that I'm looking back at, I was like, I wish, you know, come third year that I would get my foot into like an organization or something in the city that, you know, would help me, you know, be more immersed within the community. Right. That would make that transition much more simple yeah. for me. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we always say, OK, well, as soon as we graduate, we're dedicated to our studies right now. But as soon as we graduate, we're going to look for that internship or mm-hmm. hopefully that job. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And hit the, you know, yeah. hit the websites and everything. But yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really hard when you just hit that wall straight on, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, at the same time, it's like university is not only about studying. Yeah, you're going through a lot. Yeah, you're, you're finding yeah. yourself. You're finding the right yeah. crowd. Yeah, yeah. You're mm-hmm. finding the right subject to study. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're finding basically everything about what you want yeah. and yeah. what you don't want. Yeah. yeah. And at the same time, you're like distracted by so many things. You mm-hmm. can't really just focus on okay, like okay, I'm gonna do this after I graduate. Yeah. Or like mm-hmm. okay, what do I not want to do? Yeah. yeah. Because about university too, like there's a routine to it. Yeah. That we get so comfortable with. Like yeah. we go to our classes, mm-hmm. you know, where we even see the same social groups, meet new people, see friends. There's something that we know that's gonna happen, right, through yeah. all of this. Mm-hmm. But as soon as you graduate and leave, I mean, you're basically by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely agree with both of you on that mm-hmm. because uh, you're in a comfort zone mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. good to get pulled out of that, mm-hmm. which um, also, you said to me about uh, you don't have a university is not all about like just studying and uh, mm-hmm. finding a job. Mm-hmm. So once you kind of graduate and you're on your own, yeah. I feel like the freedom is actually good yeah. because, yeah, you're stressing about getting a job and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I was in that position. I graduated. I was just looking for jobs for like a short pe- period of time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But in a sense, it was actually good for me because after going through four years of studying and all these challenges, I knew what I wanted. Mm-hmm. I knew what jobs I wanted, what where I want to live, all these yeah. different mm-hmm. aspects yeah. of where I want to go further in my yeah. life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm in a better place than I was four years ago to make these decisions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So overall, yeah. university was good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and now I can literally kind of find exactly what job I want yeah yeah. Mm. yeah I think I definitely like agree with you guys to a certain extent that it is different um mm. but I think like if you think about it as well like say when I look about look back to how I was in high school and thinking about my transition into university I feel like that transition is like a constant throughout even w- mm. after you um graduate and what I mean by that is like Say, for example, transitioning from high school to university, for me, it was, like, kind of hard because I had, like, the comfort of my family mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and, you know, my mom, she she would cook all the time. I'm Like I said in our previous podcast, I don't like cooking. So that was one <laughs> thing, you know, that I could rely on my mom oh, for. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also with, like, housing, I didn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, also with um, things like doing your taxes or Mm -hmm. of course of course or you like just figuring things out like that i didn't have to do that when i was back home Mm -hmm. but in university i feel like i did have those responsibilities Mm -hmm. and i had to figure out them for myself as well even Mm -hmm. with jobs like i remember my sister used to tell me in first year like oh, apply for jobs or, like, do volunteer positions because Mm. you're going to regret it later if you don't have any experience. And I was just like, oh, whatever, you know. I was the same. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, exactly. So, you know, it just kind of, like, it it just kind of happens because, like, that because, you know, we're just, we're still growing constantly. Mm. And I think, Mm. like, even in university, we have to learn those things. And I think it's very similar to when you graduate Mm. and, 
you really do have to like learn like now about mortgages and mm. about like investments and things like that. So I get that. Yeah, I do think it's it's quite different, but mm-hmm. I also think it's pretty similar. And I think like university is preparing you for that. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I think it's just another chapter. Like yeah, with all the challenges we always discuss, like mm-hmm. when we're hanging out and stuff. It's mm-hmm. like I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna learn it. And you're gonna just keep going. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. that big of a deal, yeah. honestly. I think mm-hmm. yeah. it's yeah. just life. Yeah. <laughs> it's just honestly. life. Yeah. And, like, do you think that, say, I, for example, Tammy, you were talking about how um, you don't feel like your degree prepared you for what mm-hmm. you wanted to do in the future. Yeah. Do you think that other aspects of, like, academic aspects or even, like, your personal life on campus mm-hmm. helped you prepare for? other things you had to take on outside Mm. of of undergrad? I would say I definitely learned a lot from people around me Mm -hmm. and my experience on campus more Mm -hmm. than my books. I mean, I I did learn a lot too, but Mm -hmm. at the same time, I feel like Mm. uh, maybe like events and people really Mm -hmm. shape who I am and Mm -hmm. like how I see Mm -hmm. myself doing other things when I graduate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, like, learning from books really did improve my critical thinking skills mm-hmm. and like, mm-hmm. paper writing, because I used to write a lot of papers. Mm-hmm. 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 Psych majors used to do that, and, like, mm-hmm. you just learn a lot about theories, but you maybe, maybe like, those things really helped me to apply to mm-hmm. my real life. Because, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. as I said, like, psych majors, they really learn more about people and themselves okay, like okay. I, I like to apply what I learn mm-hmm. about those yeah. things into mm-hmm. real life and mm-hmm. it really helped me a lot mm-hmm. yeah so but at BCIT do you see like a main difference between the student population there and people at UBC socially speaking very yeah so what, very. Are, what are so what are those things um I think it's way easier for me to connect with people when I was in UBC because pretty mm-hmm. much like like us like everybody were go- mm-hmm. we went through or still going through the same thing or similar things mm-hmm. like you know getting this degree trying to um, mm-hmm. make something out of it mm-hmm. you know graduate and mm-hmm. move on mm-hmm. but uh, people in this IT it's like it's like a technical college they have like different people they mm-hmm. I have classmates who are single moms mm-hmm. or like, mm-hmm. who are mm-hmm. not really young or yeah. like, who, who just came out of high school yeah. mm-hmm. and decided to do this mm-hmm. and then you meet different people and they're all on different pages in yeah. their lives and mm-hmm. it's just yeah. a little different mm-hmm. a little harder to just be like hey like can I connect with you right. yeah. uh, we're like similar mm-hmm. we're exactly. a community yeah. right. like the sense right. of belonging yeah. is, is stronger in UBC because we're right. all, all the same age yes we're all the same yeah. age right. So what's that like transition in social life mm. like 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 you said you, a lot of your friends are on campus Brian yeah. um so how, like say for example in your workplace like are you, how is it connecting with people of different backgrounds yeah. and <clears throat> definitely it's um I find it a bit harder because uh after 4 years in university you find like a friend group that you're comfortable with and everything mm-hmm. So I'm fortunate enough to live with two of my friends. Mm-hmm. So when I get home, I know that, you know, it'll be it'll be pretty chill. Yeah. <laughs> but mm-hmm. in the sense that uh, at the work workplace, um, to be honest, when I first started, I tried to connect with as many people as I can because mm-hmm. I wanted to get to get to know everyone at the office, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I've been working there for around half a year now, and mm-hmm. I can't. I've made like a few closer friends, mm-hmm. so I try to socialize them a lot more, and I find mm-hmm. that it's a lot better yeah. because it's not realistic to kind of connect with every single person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yes. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. in terms of just general social life, yeah. I think it's up to you, and it really mm-hmm. depends from company to company, and mm-hmm. or even just where you are. Not mm-hmm. saying everyone is out at office doing a job, right? Mm-hmm. But it's pretty up to you to make the first move because Mm -hmm. other people are in the same place. They're also comfortable, too. That's where a lot of people Mm -hmm. in the world are, right? They're just comfortable where they are. Mm -hmm. So after university, being around peers that are so keen to meet everyone else, now Mm -hmm. it's like you're stuck. Not stuck. You're with a bunch of other people who are like, you know, I'm pretty good with where I'm at. Where I'm at. Yeah. So yeah. it's up to yeah. you to be like, introduce yourself yeah. and do those yeah. things. Yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, I've had a few kind of... Um, 
dinners, lunches and stuff mm-hmm. with uh, mm-hmm. my colleagues, and it's pretty good. Yeah. Definitely toned down, but it's yeah. it's still pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I think about, like, say, as a student mm-hmm. who's just graduating, and say, for example, if you're international like myself and you, you surround yourself with a lot of people who are international, mm-hmm. a lot of them tend to go back to their home country yeah. or move mm-hmm. away, and mm-hmm. then you're kind of like, oh, what now? Yeah. And if you end up, like, in a... Yeah, it's kind of a fear <laughs> no, of I mine. feel you, yeah, I do. It's kind no, of, it's, yeah. it's already happening to me. It yeah, like, yeah. Mm. A few of my friends already left, and I'm just mm-hmm. like, yeah, okay, yeah. like where do I go now? Yeah. I gotta find like, like these friends I've had for like years. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, yeah. some of them, I came with, like, uh, they came to university with me. So I'm mm-hmm. like, man, I've been friends with this guy for like eight years. Okay, right. where, where do I go from now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. like, if you're not as lucky as someone like yourself, who yeah. you're working with people that you enjoy their company outside of work, yeah. then it's like, where yeah. else do I make friends? Yeah. Like, do exactly. I just approach yeah. people on the street and say, you're an adult now, I'm an adult, <laughs> let's, yeah. let's be friends. Like, yeah. For me, um, definitely having an extracurricular after work is super important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, it's the gym. And, mm-hmm. Same. Uh, yeah, okay, nice. So, like, I used to work out for a coop on campus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, it was so good because you kind of, if you have a routine, you see the same people every time you go. You yeah. just get to know the staff, the yeah. people who usually go yeah. at the same time as you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, like, a really sick vibe, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, that's what I tried to recreate. Mm-hmm. after graduating so I'm mm-hmm. going to Steve Nash downtown mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kind of around the same time every night yeah. mm-hmm. and I'm seeing like uh, familiar faces all the time now so nice. I, I kind of know the staff the people who go nice. so you just create nice. like another environment that you can have a good time in outside of work yeah. Yeah. so I think that's super important because it yeah. keeps yeah. you like yeah. mentally yeah. sane yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 definitely good. and I think like as much as it is scary like mm-hmm. going out there and recreating those environments I think like the most important thing is realizing that it's just something you have to do and getting out of your comfort zone to do it Mm -hmm. because then you could just end up in a rut like oh okay all my friends have have gone i don't have the routine of university yeah i'm out here in the big bad world like what am i gonna do you know you could just like get down on yourself and feel sorry for yourself Mm -hmm. but i think it's important to like push past that and go out of your comfort zone. yeah for sure because i'm Mm -hmm. pretty sure we all know or like have friends who are kind of like that who are yeah. like just stuck in a rut yeah. and you mm-hmm. want to like tell them what to do yeah. and I feel like that's really good my uh, yeah. like approach you yeah. just mm-hmm. you gotta you just gotta do it you gotta do it you have to make that leap yeah. 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 yeah there's no like there's no like none of us are gonna hold your hand all the exactly. way your mom's yeah. like, like you gotta do this and that yeah. Yeah. you need to figure it out yeah. See, I think it's crucial yeah, yeah. Yo, and that's what we're focusing on too yeah. because like when you first came to UBC I don't know if you, if you guys went to Jumpstart Oh yeah, but uh, that program was like to to put everyone together to kind of hold your hand through it to try to mend relationships, right? And uh, that's not the case. As soon as there's no jump start to the real world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what about a jump yeah. out? Yeah. Jump out. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> there's no, there's no orientation. There's yeah. no orientation yeah. telling yeah. you what's right. going on exactly. out there. Yeah, exactly. Because everything is yeah. changing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as soon as you get that yeah. diploma on stage, that's you know. Good, yeah. That's yeah. a good point. Because jump start was such so helpful. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. We can't agree. We, we all loved it. Yeah, we all did it. All our friends are basically from jump start. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't, you don't get that. Exactly. It would be nice. It would. Yeah. Be nice, huh? yeah. As soon as you get that diploma on stage, yeah. oh, come and uh, do our jump out program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, so that is definitely like one of the difficulties, I would say. But yeah. was there any other like, oh, down moments that you had like yeah. that hit you out of left field when you graduated that you weren't expecting, you know, mm. and kind of like was like a reality check for you? Um. Mm-hmm. I hate to always bring it back to the job, but that's mm. kind of like where my focus was after yeah. I graduated. Yeah, sure. yeah, I feel yeah. you, yeah. Because yeah. I need to like it's normal. Yeah. make money, right? Yeah, normal, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but, <laughs> but definitely, <laughs> um, yeah. although, so Solder actually prepared me pretty well for mm. like finding a job, I have to say. Like mm-hmm. the course that I took, the advice they gave, it was really right. good. So I kind of knew what to do, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it still, it still came as a shock when I was applying to jobs because mm. you're going to get so many like... Uh, uh, people who don't call you back or yeah. just re- yeah, yeah. respond with like the oh thank you for applying the really yeah. generic message. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you like I learned that you really had to use any any way possible. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So for me it was actually ended up using 
social media like LinkedIn and Instagram yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. to reach out to people to get a job mm-hmm. and it worked yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so you realize these things they tell you in class like oh you should use social media it's the you know now it's like social media's uh, era and stuff yeah yeah, yeah it's true <laughs> yeah, yeah like yeah, use yeah. it because yeah, it's gonna yeah. be really helpful yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Did you have that experience, Tammy? Like, say for example, Mm -hmm. you said that sort of yeah. I know they have that course where it helps you with like resume. Uh, I think it was Com Two Hundred Two. Man, it it helps. Yeah, like for real, it helped a lot Mm because like right now I still have friends who are like graduating or just graduated. Yeah, yeah. asking me about like resumes and stuff. I'm like, Uh man, I learned all that in second year and yeah. I'm like low key, like so efficient at doing them now. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I realize um, I have a lot of friends who haven't Ooh, yeah. even written one before. Yeah, yeah. like so art yeah. students that, that, don't that have that. Is the yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Art yeah. students. Oh yeah. my god. We yeah. don't have that. <laughs> no, we don't have that at all. Don't have to figure that. it out by so, ourselves. Is that, yeah. only, is that only open for solder students? Yeah. Com 202? I think so. It is. Ah. Just solder students. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cause Cause what like, was your experience with that? When I was in UBC, we never learned any of that yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. you just In literally arts, yeah. have to you have to go to someone and be like exactly can you please help me with my resume yep. my cover letter mm-hmm. and all mm-hmm. that I mean, I mean it, it's accessible you can ask people here yeah. mm-hmm. they're gonna help you but at the same time if you don't ask yeah. no one's gonna help you yeah. Yeah. yeah and that was my problem right Ooh. that was my problem so that's a skill you learned here actually you need to ask yep like, I regret so much for not asking help because mm-hmm. of my personality mm-hmm. or maybe I was too comfortable mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I just stick with the same people but not ask questions because I didn't want yeah. it to feel like I was helpless. Right. Mm. But when you get out there, I learned that, like, yeah, sometimes you f- you're helpless. You don't know what to do. And mm-hmm. it's fine. We all go through that. So mm-hmm. it's important to ask mm-hmm. help. Definitely. That really need. Yeah. And yeah. now I... I mean, like, I'm done with that course, but mm-hmm. I'm actually taking something like comp. Like, mm-hmm. I'll write right. resumes, yeah. and mm-hmm. write, writing emails, how to mm-hmm. deal yeah. with, like, you know, claim and adjustment emails and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I think it's so useful, and mm-hmm. we need more of that in university. No matter who yeah. you are, what you major in, you mm-hmm. have yeah. to take that. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. There should be some mandatory, like, practical courses yeah. that everyone yeah. takes. Yeah, like a life skills 101. Nah, it's, it's just like yeah. that yeah. meme that you, like... Like you always read online, where in high school they teach you like uh, the all these math theories, but they yeah. never teach you how to like pay rent or like yeah, yeah stuff. exactly yeah. Yeah. Tax. yes. taxes. It's yeah. like, yeah. right? I, I need that. Yeah. Come on, those yeah. are like important. Like those are stuff you you have to figure out on yourself. It's like, yeah, I could have figured that math yeah. math theory myself yeah. at night. Yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how to work these know? taxes. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's definitely important. Because I think that as much as you feel like, oh, you're growing up during university, yeah. you're still, like, being fed with a spoon in a way. Like, mm-hmm. UBC housing, like, you just apply, you can get yeah. it. You don't have to yeah. deal with even, mm-hmm. like, uh, electricity you and water. You don't need to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your classes are set up. Yeah. Yeah. So, you f- like, when I first came from uh, high school, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you know what? I feel like an adult now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, nah, like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. still good. Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah. But it's, yeah. I feel like that's also, yeah. going back to what we said, yeah. it's just... Um, phases in life yeah. mm-hmm. like yeah. you're gonna keep feeling this way every mm-hmm. time yeah. you just have to mm-hmm. adjust I think the important thing to note like just closing off is like it's 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 always gonna be a transition process mm-hmm. and no one is ever gonna have it figured out I yeah. feel like even adults at 35 <laughs> don't feel like they're exactly. adults exactly you know? yeah. and yeah, yeah. It's just always a growing process, and mm-hmm. everyone's in the same boat. It's like nobody, nobody has it all figured out. Mm-hmm. No matter how much money you have, or you know, yeah. I think it's just that's there's like always something. Point. Yeah, For sure. yeah, I and yeah. I feel like we also tend to think that somebody else has it better than us, mm-hmm. and someone is probably looking at us thinking that we have it better than them. Mm-hmm. So. I think that's just something that we should. Yo, so uh, this was a great conversation. Very good and uh, very insightful. So we want to thank you guys for coming on. Thank yeah, you. No for problem. Thank us. you. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I really enjoyed today's episode, especially because I'm kind of in that 
you know, frame of mind, that mindset of, you know, jumping out of undergrad life and going out there and braving the new world. And so it was definitely very interesting for me to hear the perspectives of my peers who were in my position and now are, you know, out there living their <laughs> their postgrad life. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it's just really important for us as you know almost graduate students to to seek out those resources that can help us with you know transitioning out and i think um yeah when you seek out those resources you will really be able to make it easier for yourself you know as you're transitioning out mm -hmm. and we're gonna be um having a blog on our learningcommons.ubc.ca website where we're going to be talking about some of the points that we addressed on today's episode mm -hmm. and we'll also be including some resources to help you out more so yeah thanks for listening to today's episode and we hope to see you again mm -hmm. bye bye